All right, guys, so this is for the students of FIRE 117. We're going to continue with the LARO two-line system, and this week we're going to start into patient packaging. And I'm going to talk about uh, the ways we're going to package ambulatory versus non-ambulatory patients. Simply put, ambulatory patients will be patients that can walk versus someone who cannot walk, which we will call non-ambulatory. So this week we will go over how to pack patient package somebody who's ambulatory and we're going to use a technique called the hasty pelvic harness. First thing we're going to do is tie your one inch webbing into a loop. So you got to remember if you're going to tie a hasty harness you want the um, you want to use approximately a 15 foot uh, piece of one inch webbing. Now 15 feet will work for certain people. Some people who are real thin might use 12 foot. If you really heavy set, maybe you want a longer piece of webbing, but I have to say, Honolulu Fire Department, for instance, uses 15, it fits most people. So again, with the one inch webbing, if you don't know how to tie this thing into a loop using the water knot, this piece of equipment is almost useless. So what we're gonna do is tie overhand, and then we're gonna follow it through with the, with the overhand bend, also called the water knot. Minimum tail is two inches, so you just gotta adhere to that. The tail can be a little longer, so if you were kind of thin and um, you wanna make it fit a little bit better, you could make the tail a little bit longer. Okay, so once I have the water knot, I'm gonna put this knot on the small of my back, just like this. Okay, right about belt level, maybe slightly higher than belt level. Then what, I, um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring two bites up forward like this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hands through this bite, okay? So I'm gonna come on both sides, capture both bites. So I'm like this, all right? My hands hands are through. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach underneath me and I'm gonna grab the, the webbing from underneath me. And then I'm gonna grab grab that bite with both hands and I'm gonna pull it through and my hands out to the side just like this, okay? So now, before I tie, tie this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is comfortable because if I'm actually going to repel or do any kind of rescue work or be supported on a, on a rope rescue system, I wanna make sure it's comfortable. So what I do is I take the leg portion and I make sure there's no, there's no um, twists or anything like that. So, and then I wanna make sure this top portion is about belt level, maybe slightly higher. I don't want it too high. I want it right, just maybe right at belt level, maybe slightly above. Now, the next step is just for, what I like to do is I like to pull it off to the side a little bit to make that triangle, and then, and then I, I tighten it so that I get, so I have more of a triangle. And then, once I got here, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a square knot. So I go uh, left over right, right over left, Okay, boom. Once I'm done, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a carabiner, and I'm gonna capture the two bites, just like that, bite down, flip up, just like we normally do, and now I'm ready. So, so this is a legitimate um, harness, especially if you have nothing else, this can be used, okay? So there you go, so that's the hasty pelvic harness that we use to package ambulatory patients. It can also be used, as I've shown in this video, you could use it for yourself. For, for instance, like firefighters could use this 15-foot webbing and put together harness for self-rescue, for th things like that. But just understand that the standards right now are that if you do have a commercially available uh, harness, it is way preferred to use those instead. There are some issues with this one inch webbing where it cuts off the circulation and it is, uh, it is pretty much to the point where we do not actually want to use it except in emergencies. But in this Laro class, we're going to actually practice tying this on ourselves. And because of COVID, um, we're not going to be tying on each other. We're just basically going to be tying it on ourselves. And then just know that if I had to, we can also use the same technique to package up an ambulatory patient okay so we'll be doing that this week this friday and uh, hopefully you watch this video we will be practicing this in class and then we will actually hook ourselves up 
two our two line system um, and and use this as a harness and and because we we're not really putting a full weight into it it's, it's safe uh, it's just a way to practice this technique okay um, again I'll see you guys on Friday we're gonna go over what we just I showed in the videos um, yeah I'll see you then stay safe out there.